trips are, are a great way to start thinking and daydreaming and wondering the what ifs and that's in a sense what this this album's about and I think if you listen to it it's musically and layered enough to really just kind of put you in that place we lost so many good friends at the battle of bitter ends left a drink for the fallen what lies broken never really meant I've been in a band called Jay for about 15 years now, and in 2013 we took a little break, and I've been pondering this Robert Frost poem, The Road Not Taken, I'm sure you've probably come across it in your life, and one of the songs that we have a video for called How Do You Know, it came about thinking about this time in my life where I, I, I worked downtown near Pershing Square, and there were these cast of characters that were very, um, they were interesting, and we know we were young, and we were making some decent money, and I felt like we were this band of uh, characters in an S.E. Hinton novel, and it was such a powerful time in my life that I thought, well, what, what if this had happened, what if that had happened? And that started kicking off the idea of The Road Not Taken and Robert Frost. And that's how Road Trip kind of kicked off. It was the, it was that moment, that reflection, that one song that came out from it, and then the theme and that through line just started writing itself, and then I wrote the record. Mama, you did your best on my drive. Blades still fell. The writing process, well, in particular to this album especially, was done late at night with a glass of wine or two. And the way that it began was demos, and then my friend Tyler Bates, who started um, you know, being exposed to it as I was creating it, became a fan. He wanted to play on it, so that pushed me to get more and more people together and put the project as something real rather than just an abstract thought while I was in hiatus from my band. I brought this amazing drummer, Steve Hines, into this studio, my, my friend Tyler Bates' studio. We recorded the album in a day with him because he's that good. Tyler played bass when he'd have some free moment, would have some beers. And this amazing keyboard player, Paul Beard, and he's a musical director for Robbie Williams. Roxy Music, uh, James Blunt. Anyway, he's a, he's a very talented, super smart guy, and we'd get together at his studio, and I'd play my record, and he got into it, and pull out his keyboards, and just start playing, and the whole thing just kind of organically morphed into this great collection of amazing players. It's a it's a very organic album, and think of like listening to a James Taylor record and taking a, a drive, and, and it makes you think and, and, and wonder. So the first video that we're going to be releasing for this album is, uh, is For Grass Is Dying, one of my favorite songs on the album. It's actually written about a couple of friends of mine that passed away on, on the same day, two different parts of the world. It made me think about, I mean, with all our work, all our efforts, and, and when, whatever we do, we cut it, you know, grass is still, it's still going to grow, it's still going to die, it's just this, this endless circle. I remember when I was a kid, like 12 years old, I would think about that. And I was, I'd lay down in my, my grammar school's uh, field and I'd just stare up at the sky. And I would just visualize things of like of things to come, and just I could hear the wind, and I would just really trance out, and I would I put myself forward and thinking about the whole life and how it's going to end and how it's going to be and the beginnings, the middle, and I and I remember those thoughts and and that 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 experience that day finding out about my friends, that it kind of brought me back there as a kid. How do you know? This album, to me personally, is different than anything I've ever done before because this time I actually had an idea, a whole through line, 
I wanted it to have a cohesive sound. The whole album in itself, though, is is really a whole. It's a, it's a whole piece, and it's something. That each song goes from each song. Even the order placed uh, makes a little bit of sense. I think we all have so many twists and turns in our lives, young or old. They just start coming at you like this, and that's what I, I want this 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 record to do. I want I wanted you to be in a car. I want you to listen to it. I want you to daydream and think about your turns and your your life experience and, and your what ifs.